Without that, you wouldn't, you lose weight by not being on an active program um, or exercising any active possibility. Is it the best way? No. Can you um, stop drinking sí. and not go to AA? Um, absolutely. But there's a there's a structure and a process in those 12 steps that, that can be, be become beneficial if you're using them properly. You see what I'm saying? They, they all have they all have the, this purpose to structure, and you like structuring every other part of your life. You know, you want the food that you order to come out on time. You want the bank to take out the right amount of money uh, for the check that you wrote. You want all you want structure and everything except your spiritual life. And, and I think it's legitimate to ask yourself why. You are listening to the Jesus Christ. To ask your question, dial 800 520 1534. Holiday shopping season is almost here, and small business owners need a plan to get those crucial holiday shoppers through their doors. Be sure your plan includes radio ads from iHeartAdBuilder.com. Radio lets you reach customers wherever they go, at home or in their car. And at iHeartAdBuilder, you can create an affordable custom radio ad right on your phone. Just click, listen, approve, then hear it on air. Get ready for the holidays today with a customized app from iHeartAdBuilder.com. Living with someone who tested positive for COVID-19 in the past five days? Those 18 and over who are not vaccinated may be able to take part in a clinical trial for possible medication to prevent COVID-19. This trial is not for a vaccine and participation is voluntary. Participants will receive study-related care at no cost and may receive reimbursement for study-related time and travel. To learn more, visit COVIDMoveAhead.com. That's COVIDMoveAhead.com. Sponsored by Merck. Okay, my 2021 resolution was to lose 20 pounds. Well, only 30 to go. And now, the top five reasons to visit Morocco. Number five. The players are upon us. With a literal wall of big screens and sidelines, the college of pro, the only place to go is Morocco. Number four. David Spade, live January 14th. Get your tickets now. Three. Find your new favorite game in the new year. We've got over 4,000 slot machines and dozens of fun table games. And the number two. Pay with points. You play to get them, so you decide how to spend them. Get gas, food, and gifts with your rewards points. And the number one reason. We don't mess with the recipe that Wahlburgers, Mark, Danny, and Chef Paul won't stand for. It's a family business. Morongo Casino Resort and Spa. Less than 90 minutes from wherever you are. Morongo. Good times! A lower mortgage rate can make a noticeable difference on your budget. It's true. You could be saving hundreds of dollars a month simply by refinancing to one of these incredibly low rates. Think of how much that can help. Then pick up the phone and call American Financing. And do it now before rates get any higher. I mean it. Rates are expected to rise later this year. You really should not miss out on what's available now. After all, it only takes a 10-minute call to get started. You'll get a free no-obligation mortgage review, which will tell you if you can save up to $1,000 a month without resetting your term. You can choose any term 10 years and over. So don't put this off any longer. Call American Financing right now at 800-777-8109. That's 800-777-8109. Or visit AmericanFinancing.net. American Financing, NMLS 182334, NMLS, Consumer Access, After 9-11, Saul Martinez couldn't wait to enlist as an Army infantryman. But in Iraq, Saul's vehicle was hit by a projectile improvised explosive device. Saul survived, but he lost both legs, suffered a traumatic brain injury, and lost two close friends. Thanks to the kindness of friends like you, Saul now lives in a smart home from the Tulsa Towers Foundation. Because you cared, he has a place where he can live independently, even with the severe physical challenges that are part of his life. That's the gift you give to heroes like Saul through Tunnel to Towers. Your generosity empowers heroes to focus on their new mission. For Saul, that purpose is inspiring fellow veterans. My kids and anyone around me will in fact see me struggle from time to time, but I strive every day that no one will ever see me quit, he said. Help heroes like Saul. Donate $11 a month to Tunnel to Towers at T2T.org. That's T, the number 2, 
KFIP.org. Checking KFI traffic, we do have a crash in the Pyramid Lake area. Five stops on the Vista Del Lago. That's a big rig crash. Right now they have all lanes still blocked. To the Cajon Pass on the 15 north south of 138, a crash there along the right shoulder. And look out in Sun Valley, 5 north on Sunland Boulevard, a wreck there blocking the carpool lane. KFI in the sky helps get you there faster. I'm Jonathan White. question or life situation question anywhere in the U.S. A dial 800-520-1534. That's 800-520-1534. Bill, welcome to the Jesus Christ Show. Hi, Bill. I'll let you know how much I truly appreciate your show and the work that you do. Thank you. Um, Jesus, I uh, overcame uh, when I accepted uh, you into my heart. I overcame an addiction that was terrifying to me uh, in the twinkling of an eye, and I'm so grateful for that. It's been three and a half months now, and it, I don't even think about it anymore. But now it's the new year, and I'd like to overcome another addiction, and that's cigarette smoking. And I am more afraid of it overcoming this one than I was uh, overcoming the other addiction. I was wondering if you had any advice for me. Well, the addictions are going to be similar as far as the emotional aspect. Um, the physical act aspects can be different depending on how they interact with your body. So the, the needs may be very different. Um, the fact that you're just getting over one addiction in three months, uh, I'm all for you clipping these things out of your life as they are anchors or weights, uh, keeping you from doing things you want to do. Um, but that seems like a very quick transition to go from one and then jump into an, uh, uh, another. So I'm, I'm hopeful that you've kind of looked, weighed at everything and said, okay, this is the time. So that it doesn't become so burdensome that you throw up your hands and go, okay, see, I couldn't do it. Now, now they're both back. But I've seen so much uh, evidence in my life over the last uh, six months and particularly the last three and a half months that um, just... You know, by a concerted effort on my part, I can I can handle it. But Excellent. this, the cigarette smoking bothers me because, you know, it, it it seems like such a temptation to pick it up again. And, and uh, you know, I have already lost so far. <laughs> well, there's, and I'm not saying that you can't do it. I believe you can. What I don't want you to get to is a place of discouragement because it's, it's you know, there's so many um, outside elements as it is, and the enemy loves to sit there and tell you how much you can't do. And uh, so going in, moving forward and going into it, I want you to look at it realistically and say, okay, well, this is what I want to do. I want to, um, if you want to cut it off completely, that's a pretty difficult thing to do. And sometimes to slowly weed it out of your life because you've got a lot going on. Uh, with that type of addiction. When you're talking about smoking, um, you have a physical addiction and a chemical addiction that's attached to the physical habitual addiction. So you sit there, and this is not a show about uh, you know, medical procedures or medicine in any way, shape, or form, but uh, even spiritually in your life, you'll see how if you make something a habit, that habit becomes difficult to break. Creating a new habit now is just going to be uh, level consistent. It's a matter of one, breaking that, that physical desire, and that's something that you may want to talk to your physician about. And then the, the habit, the, the actual physical habit of picking something up and putting it in your mouth or taking the time uh, out of the work day or whatever you might be doing to, to go outside to smoke becomes part of your habit. So depending on how you used it, uh, and, and how many cigarettes would you say you smoke? Uh, about a pack and a half a day. Okay, that's quite a bit of cigarettes. Yeah, it is. So that's a lot of your day 
that is separated by by those little cigarettes. Like they they come they they're a, a visitor of sorts that you're used to, and the that absence a lot of people um, this sounds strange but will feel alone when they're not smoking because it's almost like they have a visitor that comes every so often once an hour once every couple of hours whatever it might be. So really, it, you're tackling it in, in parts, and you're going to have to find something to uh, accommodate that physical need to hold something, or, um, and a lot of people, that's why a lot of people get heavy when they're not smoking, because they start eating, and that kind of fills, fills that first part. Um, but it's a matter of, of being the exact same thing you did with the other addiction, and that is applying it to your life, just doing it. Yeah. And, with, and the one, Jesus, uh, with the other addiction, I, I literally just put it down and uh, I've never picked it up again and it's just gone from my heart now. I hear stories like that every day and a lot of people say it's not possible, oh, um, miracle. but it can be done. And I, I, as we talked about earlier, um, being with you always, and if you put me first and seek the things of God, I'm going to be with you throughout the entirety, it's not just on you. Um, well, but then, then I'll lean on you when I need a cigarette. How about that? That's always a good thing to do. It's just a matter of understanding the process and knowing that every moment you stop or every moment you're not doing it is a moment closer to your body accepting that new habit. You created this habit. It's not, it, it's not like you went to a pack and a half a day immediately. You, you would have uh, coughed and hacked and gone there. It was a process that you taught your body to accept and to consume and to enjoy. And now you're going to have to rethink this. And this goes for all kinds of things. And people get caught up in, in addiction saying, oh, well, how can I do this? But you trained your body into accepting these things that are foreign. How much, how much more difficult do you think that is? Have you ever tried to feed a child something that they don't want to eat? You, you're training your body to accept something that repulses you. You can train it um, to give those things up and know your limitations. There is nothing wrong with saying, hey, I need help. I'm with you through the totality. And if you are uh, one of those people that are designed in such a way that you can put something down and say, I'm done with it, and amen. Do it. And pass that glory along to God. And make sure that people know. You know? And I'm humble. But I know you can do it, bro. And you've already proved to yourself that you can. You are listening to the Jesus Christ Show. To ask your question, dial 800 530-1534. It doesn't affect you. Well, that's interesting. KSI. KOST HD2. Los Angeles, Orange County. Live everywhere on the Anchor Radio app. Hospital Hope. I'm Layla Muhammad, live from the KSI 24-hour newsroom. For the second time in a week, someone has called a bomb threat into a hospital in Orange County. Last night, someone called Memorial Care Saddleback, uh, Saddleback Medical Center in Laguna Hills, saying there was a bomb on site. The Orange County Sheriff's Department closed down the hospital and searched for anything suspicious. The hospital was back in normal operations within two hours. The same thing happened the day after Christmas. The president of Modern Day High School in Santa Ana is leaving. Father Walter Jenkins will not return to the co-ed Catholic campus when classes resume after the winter break. Jenkins has only had the job for six months. His resignation comes just as an investigation begins into alleged hazing by players on the school's football team. But officials say Jenkins' decision was not connected to the investigation. Diocese of Orange, Superintendent of Schools Aaron Mirasano says Jenkins is returning to the Holy Cross Order in South Bend, Indiana, where he will take on a new assignment. Investigators looking into the cause of a massive wildfire in a suburban area near Denver have executed a search warrant. The fire broke out Thursday and has burned neighborhoods to the ground and destroyed nearly a thousand homes and businesses. Three people are missing. Boulder County Sheriff Joe Kelly did not give details on that search warrant, but did say authorities are pursuing a number of tips. At least 11 states are asking the National Guard for help because of an increase in COVID-19 cases at hospitals. 
Dr. Laura Massey with, uh, says her COVID patients are younger and sicker, and many don't have pre-existing conditions. We have so many patients in the ICU right now that we are all pulling extra shifts and coming in extra days to work. She says it's important that everyone get the vaccine. Israel has reported the first case of fluorona, di fluorona disease, excuse me, that's a double infection of COVID-19 influenza. A pregnant woman who was admitted to the hospital is the first known case of fluorona. The disease is not a new variant, but a severe lapse in the immunity system. Firefighters in South Africa are trying to get a fire out at the National Parliament complex in Cape Town. South African President Cyril Ramposa says the fire started in a building that houses offices and has spread to the National Assembly building. It does show that there are certain things that do work, even as you may think that the wheels are coming off and everything. One person has been arrested for possibly starting the fire. More ammunition for people who don't like cats. More than 100 house fires in South Korea have been blamed on cats. Fire officials in Seoul say cats started 107 fires between January 2019 and November of 2021. Authorities say the fires apparently started when cats turned on electric stoves. This over half began when pet owners went home. Only four people were injured in the fire. Amy King, KFI News. Let's check out this crash on the five in Pyramid Lake. Excuse me, on the five south out of Vista Del Lago. It's a big red crash, still has all lanes blocked. Trying to get that vehicle over to the right shoulder area. In the Sun Valley area, five north on at Sunland Boulevard, a crash blocking the car fuel lane. And as we were calling past, look out on the 15 north on to 138, a crash there along the right shoulder. Can't fire the sky, let's get you there faster. I'm trying to walk. Why would a plumber just tell me what it costs to unclog my drain over the phone? Is it that complicated? No, it's not. It makes no sense at all. They obviously have a price. Whoa, you've got a nice aroma. Who are you? Mike Diamond, the Snugget Plumber. Will you tell me how much sunspot my drain? Ninety-nine dollars. So you haven't seen it. Don't need to. Doesn't matter if it's a kitchen sink or a mainline sewer stoppage. The Snugget Plumbers at Mike Diamond will unclog almost any drain for ninety-nine dollars. Oh no. Yeah, there are a few exceptions, but you can read all about them on our website before you call. Just go to thesmellgoodplumber.com. Wow, you're like up front and everything. I just got a guy named Bubba who wouldn't tell me anything. No Bubba's here, ma'am. Just professional plumbers who show up on time, smell good, and unsawed drains for $99. Call us, 1-800-446-MIKE. Contractor license number 399 in 1982, Melissa Tate identifies Rodney Lincoln as her mother's killer. Then in 2015, Melissa says Rodney didn't do it. On The Real Killer Podcast, Leah Rothman reveals what may be a miscarriage of justice. It was one of the most brutal crimes in St. Louis history. A single mother murdered, her two young daughters barely survived the attack. I'm on a mission to find The Real Killer. Listen to The Real Killer on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. At Gordon, Gordon to the call Jacob and Ronnie, call Jacob. There are many reasons why you should call Jacob if you've been injured in an accident. 25 years of experience, free consultation, amazing results, excellent customer service 24-7. And you don't pay Jacob a penny unless he ends your case. Jacob's a real person, real attorney, my attorney, and he should be your attorney. Call Jacob at 844-24-JACOB, 844-24-JACOB, or visit calljacob.com today. Call Jacob. Hey parents, have you ever wondered how to talk to your kids about the crazy things happening in the world? As great as schools can be, they often don't teach important things like how it works, how to start a business, the golden rule, or how the economy works. But kids need to learn about big ideas like these, which means it's up to you. So, how do you go about it? By telling your kids stories. And that's the power behind the beautifully illustrated Tuttle Twins book. The Tuttle Twins is a series of children's books that have sold over 2 million copies already. These books teach important ideas The teachers and textbooks don't really discuss. And they make it super easy for you to help your kids learn the values that our country is founded upon. If you want to help your kids understand how the world works, so this can be a positive part of it. Go to cuddlesprintsradio.com to get your set of books. You'll get a 35% off discount and free activity workbooks too. That's cuddlesprintsradio.com. 
Stock Walmart if you hear a five. Sunny skies still your Sunday highs near 60 along the coast for the LA Basin in the low sea and the IE, low 60s for the valley. 50s in the high desert, upper 30s in the mountains. Tomorrow we're going to be in the upper 50s to low 60s inland and along the coast. Right now it's 48 degrees in Brea, 43 in Tustin, 40 in Cerritos, 46 in Redondo Beach. We meet local, live from the KFI 24 hour newsroom. I'm Layla Muhammad. Uh,